Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Uh, afternoon, YouTube. <clears throat> if you're looking there at the package on the floor, that's the uh, receiver from uh, Terry, te Texas Viking. And we'll be getting that open here for long and we'll show you what we got. Stay tuned. I'm back again, YouTube. Uh, as you can see, the uh, tuner is right there. That thing is a monster. <laughs> I think that weighs, weighs as much as my re whole receiver on that fisher up there. Uh, so, it is here. And Terry sent along another little item. That's nice. I have now two stickers I can put up if I had a place to put them. Thank you very much for that, Terry. And he sent along the uh, antenna for the uh, tuner. And a patch cable, which was nice because mine hasn't come in yet. So, got that. And the uh, precision stylus force guide. Uh, for measuring the uh, uh, stylus pressure, I guess, is what it is, on the uh, records. So, that's nice. That'll come in handy. Uh, as light as that touch is on that one there, I, I don't think I need to even measure it because that thing just floats. It just, I'm surprised it even tracks on the record. But, uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's that bunch there. And I think, uh, like I told Terry, I think what I'm going to do is set it up on top of that speaker right there. And I've got a cord uh, that will reach the outlet over here. And uh, hook it into the uh, back of the stereo to do the testing. Um, I always like to test uh, things like this before I, I get them on a workbench and, and uh, tear into them. Because I like to see what they do or don't do. And uh, so that's probably what I'll do with this. So... That's about it for here. It's not a long video. Ah, <laughs> surprise! Anyway, <laughs> uh, gonna do that. I've got, I'm still working on this laptop. I've been kind of going back with Ron C about uh, what to do about this uh, connectivity problem I'm having with it. Uh, I have uh, just installed uh, the, uh, there's two pairs of, of drivers on the uh, website for this laptop from HP. One says Intel Pro and they're older and the other one's the in Intel Centrino uh, drivers which I had installed and so what I've done I've installed the older driver and it's got a, a definitely older version on there. Uh, I'm going to try that for a little bit and if that doesn't work there are some uh, newer drivers on the uh, Intel website and I may try one of those. Uh, the version I had on there uh, originally that was causing problems was 15 dot something something something. Uh, this was this one that's on there now is a 14 dot something something something. And the one that's on the Intel uh, website is 18 dot something something something. So I, I can see there's quite a bit of difference there. So um, we'll try this one for a while see what happens. I don't I'm not I'm not crazy about having the, the latest anything on there as long as it works. I mean, you know, if the newer drivers don't work as well as the older drivers, then heck with the newer drivers. So that's just the way I feel about it. So anyway, that's uh, that's that. Uh, I'll wrap that up. And like I say, I'm gonna I've got this unboxed. I'm gonna set it up, and I'll probably bring you back for the first test of it, just to see, we can see what it does and don't do and we'll get on this pretty quick for Terry so you guys have a great day thanks for watching